Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making some beautiful resin tea light candle holders with real flowers and rose quartz crystals. I have my molds out and ready, and they're already placed into my resiner's fast curing machine, and this thing is amazing. It cures my small projects in only two hours. I'll have it linked in my description along with a discount code if you're interested. I'm starting to mix in my resin, and I'm using craft resin. Craft resin is a one to one ratio by volume. Volume, which makes mixing each part together so simple. I'll also have a discount code for craft resin in my description if you're interested in checking them out. So because it's a one-to-one -one ratio by volume, I pour equal parts of the A and B and then pour that into a larger cup to mix together. I mix well for around three to five minutes and until I no longer see any streaks in my resin. Then I pour it into a smaller cup and continue mixing to make sure that everything is mixed in properly. And these are the flowers that I'm going to be using. They're already dried. And whenever you're working with flowers in resin, you always want to make sure that you're working with dried flowers. I take some scissors to cut off some flowers that I'll be able to place into my molds. Then I pour my resin into each candle holder mold. I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and I'm being very careful because especially with these molds it's easy to burn the mold so I'm being very quick and I'm also using it on a low heat. Then I start to place in my flowers. I place the lid onto my fast curing machine and press the on button. and I come back in just two hours once this layer has hardened. And again, I mix in my craft resin. Now that my resin has hardened, now's a good time to remove any excess stems from the flowers. And here are my rose quartz crystals that I'm going to be using. They're such a great quality and the price is really affordable. I'll also have this linked in my description. I decided to mix it with some white pebbles. So I pour in my pebbles into a separate cup and then add in my rose quartz as well. I pour in my resin and mix that together. This way would create less air bubbles than if I were to just pour the pebbles and crystals into the mold first and then pour my resin on top. That could potentially cause trapped air bubbles, whereas by mixing the two together, they're all coated in resin and any air bubbles will rise to the top and I can easily pop them in the cup. And now I'm ready to pour that into my molds. I'm using a wooden stick to make sure that nothing is sticking out over my layer of resin. Once everything is looking good, I place on my lid again and turn on my machine. And here I am demolding.
And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.